Welcome back to the show. Before the commercial break, we were talking about ways to break into a car to save a dog. And we were describing how easy it is to break a window with these tools called window punches. And I'm telling you, you got to get a few of these. Now, I've had to remove dogs from people's cars numerous times over the years, and not once have I been cited by law enforcement or sued for breaking into the vehicle. And I will continue to do it without a second thought, because to me, the satisfaction of saving a life is the most crucial issue in this situation. If you do see that someone has left their dog unattended in the car on a warm day, even with the windows open, you know... It is your business. If you don't feel you can get the dog out for whatever reason, or you're uncomfortable taking this action, here's what I'd urge you to do. Let as many people as possible in the area know about the situation. Ask for help. Ask people to wait for you. Ask a couple of people to run into nearby stores and have the owner of the car paged. In the meantime, and as I said before, take the appropriate pictures. Ask if anyone has something in their car that could be used to break the car window and get the dog out. But if you've been paying attention, you're going to go online as soon as we're done here and order a few of those window punches so you'll have one with you. Remind the people around you how quickly we must act because brain damage and organ failure can occur as a result of heat stroke. And if you don't want to break the window, chances are someone else like me will jump at the opportunity to do it. By drawing attention to the situation, you'll gather support and help for the dog. You'll also make a clear statement to the dog's owner, should he or she return to the car, that they were wrong and their stupidity will not be tolerated. It's much harder for the owner to take on a group of 10 people and say, it's none of your business, than a single person. And like I said, in some states, good Samaritans can legally remove animals from cars if they have reason to believe those animals are in imminent danger. And if you want to know your state's current laws on rescuing animals from cars, the Animal Legal and Historical Center keeps track of this. Of course, I don't really care what the law says, but you might. When it comes to knowing whether or not the dog in the car is in imminent danger, sometimes you have to make a judgment call. If it's warm out, remember it can be 20, 30, or 40 degrees warmer in a parked car. And as I said, if you're feeling the heat, a dog is definitely feeling it more because she cannot cool her body as well as we can. And a final thought on people who leave their dogs in the car on a warm day. Besides all the risks to the dogs we've been ranting about, these people are putting the rest of us in the uncomfortable position of having to make a judgment call that may involve damaging their property to save an innocent living being. We didn't ask to be put in this situation, but these owners don't seem to care about the concerns of the people around them or their neighbors or their fellow citizens. They are not only ignorant, but are being socially irresponsible and just plain selfish. I want to tell you about this online video of a real rescue from a hot car that illustrates a few things. It's pretty short, and we don't have the whole story, but there's a small white dog in a BMW sedan. The windows are cracked a bit, and a pretty big guy has this large rock, or maybe it's a piece of concrete, and he's determined to get that dog out. With him are at least two adults, which is good. He has a concerned team and they're helping him to choose which window to smash. Also good. Plus, there's a lot of kids around watching and taking videos. So first, he tries to break the window by hammering the rock into the side rear window, moderately hard, but it just bounces off the glass three times. Then he tries the other rear window and throws it at the window, and again, it bounces off. Then tries again, even harder, and still no luck. And this is a big, strong-looking guy, maybe 6 feet, 220 pounds. Well, on the third try, the rock does indeed shatter the glass, and you can even see some of the glass flying outward. And he then opens the car door and takes the dog out. And fortunately, the dog is fine after getting out. What happens then is not shown, but it's really great this was caught on video. Now, I'm not going to argue with his method, but if you're not of his stature and you're in a pinch, you might first try to find a rock with a pointed end and strike the window in one of its lower corners first. But better yet... Get a few of those window punches. So now let's talk about how to cool down an overheated dog, whether from a hot car or any cause. Maybe you encounter a dog that has been left outside on a hot day, or you inadvertently let your dog get overheated while taking a hike on a warm day, or, or whatever the circumstances. These simple tips apply. 
A few summers ago, we had a power outage that lasted all day long. And we're in the Southern California desert, and it was super hot outside that day, like maybe 112, 115. And as the day progressed, and as it got warmer and warmer in the house, we got concerned about one of our dogs in particular. So we started cooling her down. So here's what the experts say to do if your dog has become overheated. First, move her to a cool area, preferably one with air conditioning. And at the same time, have someone call the veterinary hospital and tell them what's going on. Then, continue cooling the dog down by using cool water, not cold water. Cool water, either from a hose or by placing her in a child's swimming pool or by placing cool, damp towels on her body. And with the towels, concentrate on the head and neck, the areas underneath the front and back legs, the pads of the paws, and the growing area. Offer the dog cool, but not cold water, to drink in small amounts. Don't force her to drink. And if the dog is unconscious, obviously don't put water in her mouth. And if the dog is unconscious or is really looking sick or has confusion or has had a seizure, if there's vomiting and diarrhea or labored breathing, get that dog to the hospital right away. And remember, don't use ice packs because bringing the dog's body temperature down too aggressively or too quickly can be very dangerous. Okay, this is Dr. Lori Kirshner. You're listening to Animals Today. Don't go away. More with the show right after the break. Every day in our community, countless animals are starved, beaten, and abused by people. And sadly, most of these cases go unreported, and the abusers get away with it. And in many cases, someone knew about the abuse but did not report it. So if you see someone hurting an animal, or even if you just suspect something, call the police or animal control right away. Animal abuse does not just mean physically abusing an animal. Neglecting animals can be just as bad. So if you see your neighbor's dog being underfed, left without water, or tied up in the backyard without protection from the elements, it is important to report that too. In many cases, you don't even have to give your name, and your phone call may save an animal's life. Also, we know that many violent and abusive adults got their start by first abusing animals. It's true, people who harm animals often turn their violence against other people, and that is a cycle we need to break. Remember, animals can't speak out for themselves, so reporting animal abuse can save lives. This message is presented by Advancing the Interests of Animals. Visit them at www.aianimals.org. That's AIanimals.org. 